And that's just yet another reason why Wisconsin is so awesome. We have some breaking news to report to you. It turns out that Latin has a case called the dative. Um, did you say dative? I did. I think we have some video coming in the from the field on it. Oh, there it is. Will you look at that? So, what are we to understand about this? So far all we know for sure is that Pueli means to the girl or for the girl. And I guess Sewa means to the slave or for the slave. It would seem so. And Matri means to the mother or for the mother. This is fascinating. Wait, we have an update just coming in. It turns out that dative isn't only for singular nouns. You mean? Oh my god. There are plural datives. Yes. There are. New video is coming in now. So now we know that Puelis means to the girls or for the girls. Sewis means to the slaves or for the slaves. And strange as it might seem, Matri Buz means to the mothers or for the mothers. Now we're getting reports that dative has an important use in the Latin language. Don't keep me in suspense. Quick, tell me, what is dative for? Dative is used in Latin to express the indirect objects. Just in. We were about to receive coverage showing us a dative in the wild. Only XMN is bring this to you folks. This is incredible. Mater Pueli Ki Boom Dat means the mother gives the girl food. Or the mother gives food to the girl. Is there any way to get a close-up of the dative noun itself? Cameraman, try to zoom in. Oh my god. Just look at it. Wait. Now there are reports of a plural dative on the loose. Here comes the video now. Mater Sewis Pecuni Amdat means the mother gives the slaves money. Or the mother gives money to the slaves. It's been such an exciting news day. Between Wisconsin and now the date of case in Latin, I can't take it. Finally tonight, on the lighter side, we've uncovered some footage that would seem to indicate that Dr. Massey, the Latin teacher at Leonia High School, is, in fact, a clown. Frankly, I'm not at all surprised. Have a good night, folks.